There's a hidden, harsh reality on the streets of Bucharest. UNICEF estimates some 1,500 children live rough in the Iranian capital. Most have been driven underground, finding shelter in the sewers. It's a dangerous, dirty and often drug-fueled existence. What I miss most here is light, because as you can see, we must use candles and it's very dangerous. The fact that he's still alive, Liviu says, is down to the help he's received from an NGO called Parada. It was set up by a French clown, Milu Ukli, in the early 1990s. He sought to lure the children from their gloomy underworld to the bright lights of the circus. Parada provides life skills, literacy and vocational training to these youngsters, a first step on the road to a better life. This is just a drop-in kind of assistance to help them survive. For a street kid to be able to take a shower, to have a meal, it's important. It's important to have a warm coat and shoes. But what matters most is to be able to restore their confidence. Parada runs daily circus workshops for the children and teenagers. The aim is to rebuild their self-esteem while having fun. <laughs> Elsewhere at the centre, the youngsters are able to catch up on some of the basic schooling they've missed out on. But can these classes really make a difference? We talked to one participant who spent seven years on the streets. I didn't have boss. I didn't have anything to pay, like rent or any responsibility. You know, in the end, I get pleasure of that situation because I feel I felt because I'm really free. And after a while, after I meet Parada, they told me, OK, Sergio, you was like this. Why you're just not trying to get out of the drugs and to uh, become what you was before? Because you are not stupid, so they reintegrated me to finish my, my school, my high school, evening classes. They supported me with everything. Parada can't lead these kids to a totally normal life, but it starts them out on the journey to one. <laughs> <laughs>